Hey, and welcome. God, this jacket's out of control. <laughs> hey, and welcome to the Verge, the Verge cast for the week Dude, of June 24th, 2013. I'm Josh Topolsky. I'm Paul Miller. Yeah. What up? Oh, yeah. And who's this guy? Hey, Neil Apatow. What? No, don't do that. Stop doing that. I'd like to point out to everyone. And I'm on my I'm on a Lenovo. Paul was in here earlier. About an hour ago. The hour. And you I looked, looked like amazing. Whole, like you looked amazing. A you had like a big scruffy beard. beard. What is happening Your with hair? hair was out of right control. Now. And then he went and took a shower. Speaking of what is that? Hair. Disgusting. No, I'm, I think I'm having a terrible hair day. We're well. having a bad hair. You know what? It's I this, ran out of my it's stuff. It's this freaking you New know York. What? You know what happened? Is my roommate borrowed my comb. Where's my comb? Yeah, I, don't I know. would. I, if my roommate, <laughs> by the way, my roommate is my roommate is my wife. But if Not my roommate borrowed my comb, <laughs> my roommate is my wife. <laughs> well, <laughs> I just gonna, I tried it for for. What would you do? What would you do yeah. if she borrowed your comb? That'd be it. Dog Divorce. is my roommate. I said, I said, Lord, don't you, don't you ever touch my comb. Yeah, don't ever Why? touch it. Get your hands off Why of that. Like a also, get your hands off that. Also, my room. woman, don't you, the, don't you touch get my off comb. that comb. <laughs> and that's how I hit only, only backhand and very slowly. Yeah, uh, I really love yeah. that. What is going on here? The hair is. Josh, you, you look like you you're wearing like I a can't bicycle. See the screens are too jacket. dark. What is that '90s movie about the woman with the terrible and then she's got the towels? She's gonna make him straight. You know what I mean? What? It has like. <laughs> oh, hold on, wait a second. This is the Verge cast. Uh, we're going to discuss oh, wait, the weekend. Wait, wait, wait. The in, Julia uh, Roberts. Technology Julia Roberts. And, yeah, yeah, no, I saw this. I consumer. did a really good. Uh, a oh, it's of the one bodies. where she's uh, where she's uh, it is uh, there's like a guy stalking yeah, her. Yeah, but it's her husband. Oh, oh it's a, it's uh, oh. it's uh, it's it's uh, it's perfect something or nope maybe perfect strangers no with Julia Roberts. It is uh, driving. Know, something about yeah, this is the Verge cast where we discuss. I'm just saying that scene where, where we discuss like, the, the hottest Julia Roberts '90s <laughs> Julia Roberts stalker movies. Uh, Who's gonna and, get there first? Uh, Who's gonna and, get there first? And Good technology race. culture. Oh. People right sleeping now sleeping with the enemy. Sleeping with, with the, the enemy. enemy. Yeah. 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 People, by the way, people. There are people. What's happening with this collar? Actually, um, there are people who were who've been saying for weeks. Uh, just why can't the old Verge cast crew be together? Josh hasn't been there. Paul hasn't been there. Eli hasn't been there. And now they're remembering. How bad it <laughs> yeah, is! How dude, truly bad! Yeah, how this little is, we care this about is all you were missing. How time. truly bad the Verge cast is when we're all here together and regretting that request. I, this jacket was a mistake. I think no. we can all agree. No, look at wait. Oh, Opposite wait. of look mistake. That. It's wow. flashy. That's this what I'm saying. Awesome. It looks like a bicycle safety jacket. <laughs> <laughs> what if you had a literal bicycle? Like all those. All those white stripes were actually. What is happening? I don't know if you guys are seeing this. I also don't know why Evan is like lit with rave lights <laughs> behind you. I like it. I like it. <laughs> Anyhow, um, we have a big show. We have an exciting show. Uh, I'm so happy that Neil yeah. and Paul are. are we're, we're all here. together. I'm happy. We're to here be together here. in the studio. The, it seems dark in here. Am I crazy? I feel it's dark. It's dark over no. there because that, that they TV's didn't like that. Just it's, dark, like it's dark. That it's dark. It's dark. Um, um, it's dark in, in a heart. psychological way. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, anyhow, so 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 we have a lot to talk about. There's a. It's been a big week, and Neil has. I hate to say this, but Neil has. I a, do. I he has a hard that. stop. Yeah. At four thirty. But it's going to be awesome because the thing that I'm going to. Because the thing we're doing he's something, for tomorrow he's, is something, awesome. he's doing something that we can't tell you about. It's a secret, but it has to do with something that we're going to show you on the site tomorrow. And when you see it, Neil I claims that you're going to be very impressed. I think you're going to. And, and I like and I don't know if he's right or not, but I've learned my lesson. I'm actually just getting never a question verge it, tattoo it's an, on my chest. It's an invisibility cloak. Never. Ooh. Okay, let's begin. Never question Captain Patel. So it's been a, not a not an amazing week in news. Not so a big week. Yesterday in, was like a, like a cool we day. Had a weird, stuff. weird. Yesterday was. We should just talk about the the. Let's just talk about the well, thing. Well, so build is going on. The Microsoft Build's stuff. Happening. We'll talk about that. Yeah. And then yesterday, which is what we sh should start with. Yeah. Uh, the Galaxy S4 and HTC One Google Play Google editions. Google Play editions and are out. There was a lot of turmoil. In they're not life. calling them Nexus phones. They're, no, Google Play edition. They're not, and they're not. Which, as far as I understand it, they're not actually Nexus devices in nope. the sense that they will not receive updates from Google. From Google. Yeah, Samsung and HTC are responsible for that software. But I guess like they'll receive updates faster than like this than like a carrier one would. Yeah. Will they? Yeah. Yes. Well, that's what they say. Because there, there's no and you know Google's involved. never Google's never lied before. Wait, so about there's no car the carrier. Google has never have been to... like we're getting everybody on track with these updates. Yeah. No. Like they said at I O four years ago, Liars. three years yeah. ago, eighteen months, right? Eighteen months. Of whatever. I don't uh, um, well, they guaranteed eighteen months of updates, and then most phones never got updates. Uh, most phones were destroyed before they ever had a chance. <laughs> most phones were thrown away because what is, there's like a secure, it's like a spy camera button on this. Yeah, it's very. St we're going to talk. About Anyhow, that we're going to talk about this. Uh, well, no, so here's the the number. So yeah, no carriers involved. No AT&T. No T-Mobile involved. 
ideally the the phones are, are stock. No, no carrier involved in putting the software on, but do the carriers have to improve it? Like no. No, 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 no. These are one hundred. Have you? You're back on the internet, I right? I just want to be. I just want to be clear. No, there's no involvement. They're just selling you the phone. They like sell the you the phone. You can it. T-Mobile or AT and T Team uh, LTE. Do you think T-Mobile wants to get involved in that? They're just like, come on. Just buy the plan. Right. Just yeah. be on our network, please. Unsubsidized. They're very expensive. The I got one a is T-Mobile phone. the one is six hundred dollars. The 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 S four is six fifty. Yep. And the only things they uh, retain, uh, the the HTC has Beats, Beats audio. Thank God. Uh, uh, God. Which is whatever. They're, at least the logo I'm, I'm doesn't now. Show by the way, I've come around to Beats since using yeah. the one. Yeah, I now believe good. Beats does something. That's uh, how they get you, by the way. <laughs> you believe it? You're does like something. it's faith. It's a faith based uh, uh, and sound. The S4 <laughs> modification. There's something it does as well. The S4 catch. has the has the uh, has the uh, it, it works with the covers. Oh, it works with the covers. That's what it has. Which, yeah. by the way, I have to say, when I see people with the covers, I'm weirdly like immediately jealous of them. I yeah, think really? the covers are really cool. Yeah, it's neat. It's, it's neat like you turned your phone into like a Moleskine. Yeah, it's cool. Which is my dream. Do you know what the cover it looks to me? The like, cover has like, a hole in it. You close it's like it. Like Rick and it shows Moranis, like shrunk down your iPad Mini. That's what it looks like to me. Yeah, I, I, I think it's a neat idea. I like the idea that Rick Moranis had to be personally involved. And the camera <laughs> software. So the, the Dieter reviewed both phones, um, and okay. the big questions, outstanding questions were: were would all the would all the stuff that they do with the cameras still work? Do right? I have volume control. He's very loud in my in my. Uh, I always just pull this out a little bit. Yeah, I know. That's my move. I know, but it's I, good. It's I want to hear you. I just don't want to hear you, you so can. loud. Yeah, no, that's how I feel about you too. I say. Um, Anyhow, go on. No, so the the, the, the outstanding question was: uh, Would the cameras be as good, particularly the HTC, because they've got that weird four megapixel ultra pixel camera? Yeah. And the answer is basically like uh, the, the images. Cameras are, the cameras are not as good. The images are a little bit worse. Yeah. Um, but the camera software, like Google's camera software, is far far behind oh, Samsung and HTCs. What? Like in terms of like using it, like the camera app is I, not I find, nearly I as good. I find the as one's good. camera app to be annoying. Yeah, for several reasons. It's good. It's a good. I think it's Samsung's can, is particularly. I think good. It, I think you can take good pictures. I I greatly prefer the stock camera app. Really, you're one of the only people. Greatly prefer. Yeah, I think the stock camera app is like a collection of like weird ideas that don't make any sense. I don't know. Like that radial menu, like what? Is yeah, I like that menu? radial menu is a really brilliant idea. I dis- I utterly disagree. With really, that. I think I think going to hunt and peck on some weird side thing that like you can never get to when you're trying to take a picture is a huge pain in the ass. I like knowing where the buttons are going to be. The buttons are wherever your thumb is. That's weird. That that's makes no sense. Very convenient. Well, and so like, that's I, like it's like it's like you want it to be a gesture, but it's not a gesture. Like I want to turn the flash off. Is like I have to do this and then like that. Like I have yeah. to think about it. Yeah, it's sort of it's quasi. On, like, it's quasi on a regular idea. camera software. I'm like I want to turn the flash off. Anyhow, the long like, shot. I mean, this is but this is just a matter of preference, really. Yeah, These, they still don't have they don't have the. Um, Home button. They, no, so this is like okay. This is the, the this is the dilemma. This is the big. Which dilemma. one are you going to buy? Yeah. Does I, well, I bought a buy one. either? Well, yeah. no. But I was. I'm just saying. Speaking of camera button, you know, like the freaking back, the the soft touch, yeah. whatever back button on the S4. I'm trying to take a picture. There's no yeah. way to hold that phone and see so you like exit out of the camera app all the time. I mean, yeah. I think you can you take a picture. I hate the. S4 I think you so can much. take a picture yeah. with the volume. Can you not? Can. Not on the S4. I think you might be, be able to set. There could. might be a setting. Yeah. But also, it took me like I don't know about two stock. weeks to figure well, you out. Were using, you were using an S4 with TouchWiz, which, as we know, is the most disgusting, yeah, tell us, awful. Tell us about it. I'll say this. I, I'm going to say, say this. TouchWiz is a crime. To, to, to Google and HTC's credit, they learned a lot of lessons and like pulled way back on trying to like hit you. I mean, HTC has a lot of stuff, but you can kind of just whatever, get Apex, and it's gone like for the most mm-hmm. part. And they, they, it's pretty minimal. Motorola is way minimal. Um, out of fear of being I, hit with yeah. a stick by Google for, but the Samsung is is is, and I've said this before. I'll say it again. Just disgusting design. <laughs> so I, disgustingly bad design, like on yeah. a level that should not be acceptable. And what I think must be happening is people are like, must like it. Yeah. Regular people must think that that's good. Yeah. Well, so so you know that magical feature that's in like all their commercials about looking away in the video pauses. So yeah. I turned on all the S4 features just yeah. so it would piss me yeah. off even yeah. more. Yeah. So like I'm watching the video, right? Hey, look at this video. Pause. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, no. Okay, you have to solely look at the video and don't look away. <laughs> well, well, it's meant for Only private. Look at this video. It's meant for private viewing. Okay, yeah. when you're viewing special private video right. for you, well, look uh, on you your know, handheld device. When somebody has has bumped. Their yeah, phone to yours and, and porn giving you. you a, you know, when you're going on a trip, your yeah, wife, wife bumps, wife, she maybe bumps to you. Maybe don't watch this on the plane. <laughs> she bumps on you. Yeah. yeah. On your phone. Uh-huh. And she then you, pri- you do private viewing. This happens yeah. to me all the time. Yeah, right. You don't want, yeah. you want it to pause if you move away. You don't want <laughs> 
to miss any of the action. <laughs> right. <Yeah. laughs> cool. I also made you a video. I don't know what's happening here, but yeah. it's very hot, very sexual. Yeah. Um, anyhow, so so but the long and short is they're better phones without the the, the junk. Clear. Right. Yeah. They're better phones the without the junk. And and like and like, you know, Apple knew this from the get go. Yeah, mm. and they've been pushing it from the get go. The f- iPhone is better without the. It doesn't have any junk, and that's one of the best things about it. It's yeah. like it's an iPhone. Yeah, it's Dieter's what they, review is straight it's, up. You know, like, love it or hate it. Yeah, it's what they want to do with it. No, Dieter's review is straight up like. And this is it's the way. It's not so much about what's on here as about what is. This what's is not. very. I think it's very simple. Okay, you all phone makers, you can quiet all critics. Just say. Just do this. Just say there's a mode somewhere in settings. Would you like to revert this yeah. to stock Android? For expert users, you can even say turn on expert mode, and then would you like to revert this or yeah. whatever? Nobody, will, most people, ninety nine percent of the people won't find it, and then the, the complainers like us will, and we'll right. be really happy. We'll, we'll be I, like, look, thanks happy for giving us the choice to have a phones. stock phone. I mean, the thing is, like, I don't clearly do not need to buy another six hundred dollar phone. None of us do, and all uh, of us have. But I feel like I have to because I've been asking for this product for yeah. so long yeah. that if I don't like support the market, yeah. in some way. So you yeah. guys are just getting ones, right? Well, so you were going to get an S3 So I, I have been using the one. Okay. I love the one. Yeah. I mm-hmm. love the way it feels. I love the way it functions. I love the, the everything about it. Uh, it is, it is really like, uh, to be honest, it's, it's, it's truly the first Android phone that I, I essentially have no complaints about. It's the one. The thing that, the thing, my complaint would be that it's not, there are things that HTC does that are very minor that I find annoying. Yeah. You know, like for instance, in when you save a contact, they want you to save it to like HTC's either the phone or no, some but HTC that's what service. I mean, the play edition. Are you getting the Well, play okay, edition? hold on. So this is okay, let me okay, let okay. me explain. Sure. So so the the thing is I've been thinking about the only other thing that is annoying about the one is that it doesn't have a home button. None of these function as a menu button, so you get this like menu menu, right. this like line of a menu, and and it's not that big of a deal. I hardly ever see it, but I do. I love the idea of a physical home button, mm. and I've been thinking since they're exactly the same. Like basically, maybe I would. I do find the S four to be a much cheaper build quality, mm-hmm. but maybe I would get the S four. Because of the button. Because you, of the button. You know what would make And because it, it has a menu button, which yeah. alleviates well, it. So, I mean, basically... It feels the, more... Oh, also, one other thing about the S4. On my Nexus, my old Nexus, it has the RGB LED, yeah. which you can use this application called Lightflow to tell you, like, you can set it to say, like, flash blue when I have a new yeah. Twitter message, flash light green when I have a Verge email, flash dark green when I have a regular Gmail message. Mm. So it tells you all this information just from the light, which is super useful. Like, if I have a calendar event, flash yeah. red. Like, so I could look at the phone and go, like, oh, I've got a new tweet, two new emails, and blah, blah, blah. The, the, the one does not have an RGB it LED. It just has a white one. It just has a it it does actually does orange, green, and red, but you can't use it to like you can't oh, manipulate the colors. Weird. Yeah. It's really annoying. I actually. mean but I very like people who are deep into LEDs on their phones are like tiny percentage. I would like the S four like twice as much if it had like grip tape on the back. Well that but that's the other because thing like, is that I was like thinking about getting one of those. I was thinking you could get the cover. Like yeah, you could get grip tape. I could just get grip They're, tape. They actually yeah. I've, it's funny. If you like um, set that on anywhere. And if it's it more than like a two degree angle, it just slides. It's well, no, the we Nexus, have, we the have Nexus Four is the worst. It'll yeah. slide off of uh, it'll slide off of grip tape. Yeah. <laughs> you put the Nexus Four on like rubber, <laughs> sticky rubber, oh, and it finds some way to slide off yeah, of it. Yeah, it's oh, yeah, it's insane. Um, Go so on. basically, the choice for me boiled down to I can have bad, like bad hardware, icky hardware, S Four yeah. hardware, yeah. and good buttons, yeah, or like great hardware and bad buttons. I already made my choice, and that's. You have an iPhone, iPhone. Four or five. It's five. iPhone five. Yeah. iPhone five. Did you just get that on T-Mobile? Did you just get like it like a week ago? Oh right, because you know you, they're going to come you... out with new ones. Soon. Yeah, I know. Okay, I'll sell it. Doesn't matter. I'll Paul's... Sell it. Screw it. You don't know that half of Paul's body is hundred dollar bills. <laughs> <laughs> so he's physically made of money. Right. I know. So uh, you bought you my... bought a one or you bought an S four? Which one? I bought a one. I haven't bought anything Which was yet. A total I asked Dieter. Impulse purchase. I asked Dieter to send me the review unit so I could look at them, yeah. like next to each other, and make my final decision. Yeah. Um, which I've been eagerly awaiting. I the arrival. Say, so we did a poll. Like on I, the I site. like I'll say this. Like I have the luxury of he just reviewed them. I was like, send them over here <laughs> so I could check them out. Unfortunately, like un- unlike regular people, I yeah. have the luxury of being able to look so at them side by side. We did a side. poll on the site. Yeah. Uh, the one, uh, the one handily. destroyed the 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 S four. But more than anything, 15, no, fifteen hundred people wanted the one. Four hundred ninety people wanted the S four. But more than anything, no. Yeah, they people just, said they, I'm not getting well, either. Well, because they like have Verizon or whatever. I think right. I think if you give I, I looked at this poll, it's like if you give people the option to like hate things on the internet or say no, yeah. that's like their default. That's what they'll do. People love to hate. They do. You know? 
All right. It's a dark world we live in. You want to talk about the next thing? The next thing's cool. What is the next thing? Motorola has a new logo. Have you seen oh, it? yeah, Motorola has, has a new really, logo. Can we get it? Can we get it on the screen? Can we get the Motorola circle? logo on the screen? It's a colorful. Do we know this is happening? Um, is, so, it is it the Google logo? Trying. It is. So it's it's a really it is, bad it's font. It's a Google The logo's awesome. I don't think, I think the prop, the, I think that the logo and the Motorola text is okay. Yeah. The pro, the, the a Google company underneath That's it looks weird. really wonky to me. Yeah, like I, I, well, I th wait, I think the Motorola the word mark is really ugly. The more I, I think, look at it, uh, it looks like it looks like it's, somebody. It's little, it's, it looks like they picked a font. And they did. I mean, they, they like, kind of did. I mean, yeah. it's not it's not like a really uh, it's not really a really astounding custom word mark that you're yeah. like, wow, they spent a lot of time. You know, it just looks like they picked a nice sort of inoffensive font. Yeah, I don't I don't know what font it is. It's called regular. Straight up, it's no. It's there, I think it's got to be another. It's, it's, it's something. I think, I think it's I mean, called it regular. Totally no, it's something regular. Except for that A. It's 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 at any rate like a hundred percent. That's not. That's at any rate, I don't think it's that bad. I don't think it's that good. But I do like the new the new logo, which is just a variation. Yeah, absolutely. Which is a very. If only we could show it to the viewer. I still like. Thus, uh, just uh, finally uh, justifying <laughs> the Vergecast video <laughs> aspect of the. You know, the one thing we can the offer world. to you. Is that we would show you something? The, a Google company. That's like a like a tag they put uh -huh. on. Um, the cool. Google nope. Google Play. Close. That's the poll. No, nope. no, nope. 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 I don't. I have no idea what you're this doing good. right now. Are they like behind <laughs> us? They're like just trying to prove to us that they could put something <laughs> on the screen. <laughs> it's gone. <laughs> Evan, are you drunk? I can't hear you. We're dude. talking about the Motorola. It's, it doesn't logo. matter. It's fine. The Motorola logo, oh, guys. Anyhow. Yeah. Oh, weird. Um. Any, at any rate, I think it's a nice logo. This is not that interesting of a topic. No, I think except to so say that the, the, Motorola is uh, seems to be saying we are I think definitely. We're up. So well, the part reason I Google. wanted to bring up Motorola because uh -oh. a lot of the people who said no on the poll, our comments are like, "I'm waiting for the next Nexus phone," and I have no idea what that is going to be. Like, it's the, it's the X there phone. are stock. No, no, that's not the Nexus phone. Like there are okay, so you can hello you can buy X a stock phone, one. Nexus uh, phone, so. short walk still, to paradise. No, at D, uh, uh, Sundar Pichai was like, "We're still going to do Nexus. That's where we want to push yeah. the hardware boundaries." Yeah. But it's like you can buy the best hardware with stock now, which is what we've always wanted. You can Motorola is going to put out a phone yeah. that's made by Google, yeah. running stock. Yep. Presumably doing whatever hardware stuff they want to do. Yeah. What on earth is the Nexus program for at this point? I don't know. And I'll be honest with you, I'm a little bored of the whole conversation about stock or not stock. Yeah. And, and like, it's just kind of like, I, I will say that the S4 and the A1 obviate the need to have the conversation yeah. because it's like, well, this is the best hardware you can get if you don't want to buy right. a, a Windows phone or an iPhone or a Blackberry. This is the Android phone of choice. You're get right. updates as fast as you would if you had that expert mode, you know? Like, well, supposedly still, you will. The manufacturer yeah, that's always okay, going like, to have to. But having a Nexus program just because you want to like yeah. push out updates. Yeah, but, a but, here's bit a, but here's the thing. But, but here's the right. thing. I, I right. But what they should be doing is just say we're going to work in concert with our two biggest right. Uh, our two biggest and uh, the OEMs. Phone and, manufacturer and, that we own. And right. Our, and, our and, and we're just and we're just going to we're right. just going to give you versions. You're going to add your customization, and we're going to send them out. You know, yeah. or these can be flashed to whatever this pure Android that we have is, which is made to be compatible with the latest hardware. I mean, you know, the Nexus Four was not the most advanced hardware you could get in a phone when it came right. out. It's not like they were like they just blew the doors off of everybody. Like we never right. saw this coming. Well, they were like, we're going to make the back sparkle. <laughs> well, but I mean, but LG so, did that. LG made the back sparkle on their phone they released for AT and T <laughs> a month earlier. Right. Are you so guys saying this conversation is over? Because yeah. that would be. I think. So, I mean, I, it is for that me. That would be awesome. It is for me. I have like, nothing. I have nothing more to about to, this for how many? No, years? I have nothing more to complain about. To be perfectly honest with you, I mean, I have things to complain about. Uh, Just in general. In general, and like with what, and, and with Android, and and with you know every obviously iOS and many other things. But but in this particular case, yeah, the question of can I get the best Android phone with stock Android on it is answered. Like for you. like by the people who make it, right. not like I hacked it on there. Right. That's done. Yes. So. Yeah. Thank God. <laughs> so I take it like six years of people right. asking for it. Stop um, paid. But it finally paid off. Yeah. Uh, and All I'm looking forward to, to the next thing that I can be very yeah. angry about for I'm several just very, years. Like, I, you know, the, the Motorola thing is like, I, I find myself just incredibly curious about like this rebranding and like we're a Google company and like now well, we're like they look they ha it's like it looks startupy. What I'm trying yeah. to say is a Google company is like what the, the sort of tag Google puts on products that like people wouldn't associate with Google and it doesn't actually like they never expect it to be you, they don't put a Google email service 
on the right. Gmail logo. Right. Yeah. You know, right. you kind of know what that is. Right. Like, yeah, these are funny little projects Google does, and they're like, yeah, this we hey, we helped out with this. Yeah. Right. This like, is a new program. Like language. some letter. Maybe are you, you saying? This. Are you talking about the Motorola logo? Yes. yes. Some letter in there should be like a Google G somehow. Moto, Moto Grola. Mo, Moto Grola. <laughs> um, can I can I just say I am like in general I think this conversation about like phone speed, phone yeah. specs, phone even like software features, like I, I think that 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 what we saw like what uh, what Apple showed with iOS and what and what Google showed at, at the last I/O, which was very incremental, mm -hmm. and certainly what what BlackBerry is doing and what Windows Phone is doing all relatively incremental at this point in terms of what they're offering. Mm -hmm. I think like we, we need to get past the point where we're like, what crazy innovation will you provide in software in, in, in your OS and more about like, okay, now what are the phones going to do like in our lives? This yeah. is the question yeah, to me that, that is, becomes more like, will I, will I actually get to a point where I can use the phone as my wallet or will I get to a point where I can use it to get on the train or will I get to a point where the phone is intuitively doing things for me that I, I have to make it do now? I think that's a that's a the big one, especially with iOS 7, like with the flat design. Now you have Windows, phone, and and Android, and everybody's flat now. So yeah. the hardware's great. Yeah, BlackBerry hardware is great. somewhat flat. It, it, all, Not really. it all is pretty well designed yeah. now, but yeah, like... How do you use it? It's in like a it's new cool. Way. Like there's these little incremental changes, but 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 you know some of the things. Like I'll say one of the things <laughs> that that is uh, interesting in iOS and is a reflection of what Google now does is mm -hmm. this thing where the um, in the drop down it shows you you know it's going to be this degree to you know this temperature today and you've got a thing coming up and Google now does that will do that kind of automatically where it tells you important. it tells you when packages are being shipped and what right. the weather is when you get off a plane it says well, this far to your house right or whatever right now that's one feature of your phone yeah. and it's not it's a going lot to be of the your whole phone. phone I mean right. It, right now like our phones are still basically sort of the desktop paradigm of you have yeah. a desktop and you have apps that you only single tap instead of right. double click and right. then they open and right. you use an app and then you're in the app and you're doing that thing and then you go out and you you know there is like this bigger question to answer which is how do we live better with these things? You know, like Google Glass, their attempt was answering, how can we be less distracted? How are we not, do, not doing right. this all the time? And I think it's cool that they're actually exploring it. I and, think Google and Glass Windows is... phone, like sort of integrating those well, I think features? Google, I think Google Glass will get to a point, I mean, when they, when, they, when they eventually get the software right and it's really seamless and they partner mm. with Warby Parker, no, so I, if this happens... I, yeah. I think that could be a thing, but I think that that really the question is like no one's not going to have one of these for a very yeah. long time mm -hmm. now. And how do these not just like how does it get thinner? How does it get more features in the software? But like how does it actually do things that are native to our lives that like we need them to do and do them better? And I don't feel like I feel like we're just kind of stalled out on that. Yeah, you know, you have like it's like Apple's making fun of like bumping phones and like yeah, bumping phones is not great, and it's an AirDrop might be a better solution to like moving files back mm -hmm. and forth, but like you know. But the that's whole not. File that's like thing yeah, like still just yeah, like totally moving confusing. a file, giving someone a file is not my my biggest like, concern with right. my phone. The number you know? of file sharing services out there are, is a clear example of why this is. It's like such a problem right. that the and, phone and, manufacturers and, and, have not solved. And it is one of those things where where I will say there is a lot of like strife and stress about like how do I get you a file? Like yeah. should I email it to you? Should I airdrop it? Am I going to put it in a Dropbox and give you the link? Like there's all these variations of that. If you click the share button and and, and Mac OS ten. You get like eight options. The simple, really? by the way, there's, there's Flickr. By the way, Vimeo, the, the, this is actually YouTube, really interesting. The simplest thing AirDrop, to do. AirDrop, iMessage. I mean, how easy email. is it? Yeah, how easy is it for me to hand you like if I'm if I have a photo, of like here's S the photo. Net. Yep, sneaker net. Sneaker net. But it's so funny to think about the the simple act mm -hmm. of giving you a file or an image is even with AirDrop, mm -hmm. even with bumping. It's extremely complex. Well, it requires so an enormous and, amount of setup to do bumping it. Bumping and airdrop are like mysterious and magical, so you don't know if it's going to work. And then, like, yeah, like something like Dropbox. I mean, to me, it should be like an easier way would be like I'm on an image, I long press on it, and it says like here are people in your vicinity who can receive the file, and you can go like flick it. That's kind of what airdrop does. On the sort thing. of, I guess you so. You pull up the thing, you yeah. Airdrop, yeah. But it should be like it shouldn't have to be. Yeah, I guess that's. that's I just close. it should just be some kind of thing that is more like me trying, handing you a photo. I don't know. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I mean, I don't know. Any, anyway, I don't know why we're talking about airdrop. But the point is that <laughs> it's like these things, like these things that like yeah. should be easy are hard, mm -hmm. and 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 we have yet to sort of do a lot of discovery and that stuff. And also things like 
like I said, like wallet, the wallet stuff actually is a big deal to me. I was thinking about it. I was in a cab the other day and I was thinking like, yeah, it would be cool if I could use my phone to pay for this, yeah. but nothing seems to quite work the way I want it to. Everything, every time I pay for anything using Square, I'm like, this is the shit. Square is amazing. <laughs> yeah. No, like, I'll say this. I'll say when I'm in a, when I'm in a, for me. I'm like, I'll get in a car, you know, in New York, you get in a car like in Brooklyn, you call mm -hmm. a car and they'll send a, a 1984 like, uh, a van again, you know, yeah. some kind of crazy, a horrible jalopy of a car to pick you up, you mm -hmm. know, and you're like, okay, and there's beads on the window <laughs> and like there's like some weird stain, yeah. brown stain, and there's like this, looks yeah. like somebody like was searching for drugs in the cushions uh -huh. of the of the seat. Anyhow, and then you, you're like, I guess this is the car I'm taking. And you get in and the person's like, you're like, I have a credit card. They're like, I've got Square and it's like the most yeah. crazy Blade Runner. <laughs> it is like you're transported to a total future world yeah. where everything is exactly how you want it to be. Like, yeah, there needs and, to be that or, Square or for funny. like me to pay. Yeah. Like, like for me to pay. Well, you can get Square Wallet. Well, no, but no, it's I funny know, that, but like, yeah, when, yeah, I, when they hand me thing. like the actual credit card machines that some of them still have, which is oh literally God, yes. the exact same They're experience. Like here. It's like, here's a connected terminal. But you yeah, swipe the, got card. the roller. Yes, yeah. yeah. And there's like, like, it like prints it's out the receipt. It's just funny to me how much I've had my, more I hate that when my credit in card reality like, the same thing is happening. Yeah. In like Vegas or LA, yeah. they've rolled my credit card. Oh, how, oh they do that oh, really? thing. No, this That's is like good. the little handout that thing that actually has some. so unsafe. Yeah. But the, yeah. But the, um, but the thing. Yeah, because it's like, yeah, I have a carbon copy of all of your credit card information. Thanks, buddy. This is great. Um, No, but you're but you're talking about the thing that actually prints out. It has like an edge, an edge connection or something to like a bank somewhere. Yeah. yeah, those things are crazy. I told a guy the other day, I was like, he had that. Square. I was like, do you, do you know what Square is? He was like, nope. I'm like, you should get it. You should yeah. look into it because it's just so much easier. Yeah. And they email you. But of course, Uber is even better. Uber is like, send me a car. You get in. You get out of the car. Yeah. There's no physical transaction yeah. whatsoever. Nobody touches anything. Well, so it's funny. Those things are being <laughs> those hermetically sealed. You're hermetically, you get into a, you you get into the, the you get a new car, you and, and there's a there's a, a, a kind of like a coffin-like object yeah. that you get into, <laughs> right. which is a clear, and yeah. you can breathe inside it. You can end, only get out when it's dark. But yeah, it opens up. There's like steam, and then you get out. It's wonderful. <laughs> Try Uber. But so these these things are being coming soon to major the, American cities. These yeah. are being solved from the grassroots, like Apple and uh, Samsung. And, like they have their ideas of how they'll fix things. Yeah, like car. Car. But everybody mm -hmm. uses Can Dropbox I, and right. Square. What? And, no, so I, well, you know, I, I tried to use Passbook the other day because uh, I I uh, took uh, a lot of Ubers when I was in San Francisco and uh, I thought it was great. I'm like, wow, this is. You know, I can use my phone to like do all these things. Like, yeah. Let me try Passbook the next time I take a flight. Yeah. So I set up like Delta and American, and, and then I set up uh, Dwayne Reed. Because mm -hmm. it's like you can have your loyalty oh card in there. Yes. But it's I live too close to my Dwayne Reed. Like I live over it. So when I'm at home, it's always showing me the loyalty card on the lock screen. <laughs> like, oh, really? like, hey. I don't need this. Yeah, you think your <laughs> I definitely no, no, do no, not no, need no. this right I saw, now. I, so saw, I, was on, I was on an Amtrak train yeah. uh, last week. And uh, the guy, you know how they come to take your ticket when you're on yeah. the train? They're like, let me see your ticket and make mm. sure. you Because know, they're old school on the yeah. train. But they now have uh, e-tickets. Yeah. Mm. But the guy next to me had his like e-ticket and had his phone locked and yeah. couldn't find it. He was like searching for it in his email. Mm -hmm. yeah. And I was like, this sucks. This is yeah. the word. The guy standing there, like, oh, yeah. no, he's like doing, he's doing this do stuff, stuff, you know, he's like, all day. I, you know, no, he's blocking the thing. Myself, people I'm, can't. Like, I'm always wanting to do the mobile ticket and like, yeah. cool. and then when I fly with Becky, she refuses to let us No, no, no. But like, she's like, just print it out. We'll have it No, no, but that's the thing. The printout, it works. It's like the picture. It's like here it is. It's physically here. Yeah, it right. should be something as simple as like I wave my phone in the direction of your thing and you got it. <laughs> We're good to go. Don't worry about it. <laughs> the Josh story. What, 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 what if you? What if you? Just I wave my phone in the direction, direction of your thing. thing. You got it. <laughs> you, you got it. <laughs> so you just walk to the ticket taker. You go. Yeah. <laughs> And they're like, that's not threatening. We did a double gun on me. Ticket, please. <laughs> Thank you, sir. Right. Thank you, Mr. Tapol. Uh, Here's should, your complimentary champagne. Should, there's only so many, a few other things to talk about. We should really? Okay, Windows. Windows happened. Windows is a, an Can operating system moment? for tablets, Can I tell you about computers. A that yes. occurred yes. yesterday yeah. when yeah. I was watching the Build keynote. Sure. Mm -hmm. Steve Ballmer, standing on stage at Build. A nude Steve Ballmer uh, emerges from he a said, cocoon. He did say the word refined blend about five times on stage. Mm. That find, makes me want that makes You'll me want see coffee. a refined blend of how mobile and desktop comes oh, together. Can you get me coffee some coffee right in now. here? A cu cup of tea, maybe? My throat is feeling uh, a little rough. Anyway, uh, he goes, and yes, the start button is back. And literally in Windows 8.1. Yeah. And the crowd went nuts. <laughs> hey. And it was like, a roar. this moment is so strange. Finally. A roar yeah. emerged from the uh, crowd, yeah. rising up to the rafters of the building. And then that died space. down. And he said, yes, 
you can boot to the desktop, and the crowd once so, again went uh, nuts. And it was like, well, it is the crowd of developers. Well, it's the crowd of developers, but it's like it's like what Sony did with the PS4. They're like, game sharing is the same. No, like but, went nuts. but but but, but that like, was a real thing. But this is like, just like we took it away uh, six months ago, and now we're bringing it back. Yeah, but it's like you know what people want—they want things to not change. Like right. that's like right. it's the more and more. No, but but, but change is change works when the change is for the better. Right. Well, change I, works so when I it think, actually improves your experience. So when is a point? Not well, when it's I'll, like because we change. But the I just, can I just say like change for the sake of change? And by the way, this is like part of my gripe with some of the design mm. of iOS. Change for the sake of change is not necessarily what people are asking for. They're asking right. for qu change that has qualitative, like right. real and makes well, real improvements. Well, either, either way, way thing. so that start button off. change was supposed to be a big qualitative improvement. Yeah, but it never, but no, but they but couldn't like, have that been. Was in, like their... No, no, it would have been a qualitative and change in the world in a world where the Windows desktop doesn't. Like, right. Where you don't need a start button because this is your environment that you work in. Right. Like you're not working over here where you need to call up a hidden menu to a... get you things onto that right. space. You're just working in this environment. Windows as that Windows is, the one that we're just looking at, yeah. that's a place where you don't need the start button. You're in the start button. Metro you're talking about. Metro. Yeah. But then their, 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 metro, their problem right. is like they could not and will not let go abandon. And maybe the perhaps smartly for their audience abandon the desktop of Windows, which is what you have to do to make your case for the lack so of a start button. So let me just go through the, the, Tom did a bunch of big articles. Otherwise just, you're just moving back and forth between two totally different environments. Which is what you are doing. It's let me just run through the I'm Windows so angry Windows. about this. Here's the top line of 8.1. Yeah. Totally uh, more customizable start screen, bigger, smaller tiles, whatever. Start button is back. Uh, there's better multi-monitor stuff. There's mirror cast support, whatever. Yeah. Uh, Built-in Bing I mean, like, literally, these are like little tiny tweaks to Windows, right? Like, yeah. you can do more settings from Metro. Yeah, Bing is like they're really pushing Bing integration, which mm -hmm. is like whatever. Bing, you know, Bing is the uh, is now how Siri searches. Um, yeah, Skype is integrated in the lock screen. You know, they, they, there's new Xbox Music. Like they literally just like tweaked and refined. But I think what's I think the start button is like that is one of the biggest backtracks. Like they were saying this is the future of Windows. You don't. They, need Microsoft this. is doing a lot of backtracks recently. Yeah. And I mean, like, they, they made some, like, huge bets on what people wanted. I have not met one regular person who loves Windows 8. But, like, random people who usually have no opinions about technology have, like, volunteered to me that they hate Windows 8. Like, we were, <laughs> like, I, we were, no, we I, were like, a, I like that. We yeah. were at a Dude. wedding with Becky's family, <laughs> like, over the weekend. And, like, you know, random ants were, like, coming up to me and be like, I hate that Windows 8. And, uh, yeah. like, I, I, I haven't did, talked to you in a did, year. Did, 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 did Microsoft do what they thought people wanted, or did Microsoft do what they thought they had to do to transition to so being I, a so tablet? So here's, here's, I I, I, here's what I would submit to you. And oh. the, the Windows RT story at Build is, like, really muddy and bad, right? Like, Windows RT as, as a product, I think, is, like, completely tanked from Microsoft, okay. right? And I think Windows 8.1 on... Like right. Intel Haswell tablets is mm -hmm. like good because the battery life is long, whatever. Um, I think they should have, I think it is beyond clear now that they should have named Windows RT Metro and have that be the ARM product that competes with <clears> iOS <throat> and Android directly. Yeah. And that Windows 8.1 should have like been a different product. Mm. And they let, didn't let, do it. Like they didn't, I think it is like, that's what it would have made the no start button make sense. Yeah, let, let's be clear. Let's be clear. What, what, what Microsoft wanted to do is a failed, in my opinion, a failed experiment, which is um, have both yeah. things be the same thing. And no they're compromises. Not, and, they're, and they're not the same thing. And, and, and it's like it's like it's like they went it's like they went down this road, and yeah. they're like, we don't have enough gas to turn back. We just have to keep going. Right. You know, like we're not going to change our plans now. But what's happening is they're slowly. They're kind of going back to like Windows as Windows. I can think of a hundred. And, and there was I a big rumor say, over the I, weekend that they're going to restructure the company into just one Windows division that has everything, including the phone, which is like. I mean, I can think of a hundred ways that you could have made Windows different and better, okay? Right. And then also made this Metro operating system that was made for screens that you're touching all the time. Right. Which is and could also function very lovely with a mouse and a keyboard, but those those environments. Sh should not be, in my right. opinion, should not meet. They make it, it's confusing for consumers. Mm -hmm. It's confusing for work experiences. I mean, it, just as a person who's used it to do work, right. um, it creates this dichotomy that is, is, it's like the first time I saw it, I felt this confusion about where I was, like my yeah. spatial... Like, no, I think that's my what spatial are presence to. was like. What is what is my environment? And like, you can't really own either one of them because you're moving in between them right. so often. And like, you know, I, I just don't. 
I mean, you're a hundred percent right. I mean, yeah. you're a hundred percent right. The first. There I'm should done. have goodbye, everybody. You were, no, no. I mean, I, I've never agreed with you more. There should be two distinct, and I think they could yeah. have had some real success. Yeah. With, um, you know, creating whatever metro version of Office that they need to create. You know, that, that is teased. that is compatible. They're, they're, that is compatible. They off. Yeah, and I'm it. sorry that it took them so long to yeah. do that. They should have been it's working still on. Them too long. They should have been working on that. They should have had a. We're giving you. It's like all of the key features of Office right now yep. in Metro, and we're going to backfill all the, all the detailed stuff in the next you know year mm-hmm. or whatever. Um, it, it should it's not cra- be. By you the should way, never. It's crazy that there's no Metro Office yet. That well, it's it, in it, the right. Works. That's right, yeah. and it's crazy that, and it's also crazy that 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 the RT, the Windows RT, has any desktop environment that, whatsoever. So Windows like, also like RT that. eight point one. The we have a preview article. Tom and Sean did that. Um, still, yeah, still has desktop. It, it should it was literally like, have a. Uh, it should literally have a switch somewhere that says, "Turn off Windows yeah. desktop." Mm-hmm. This is what I live in. But their mistake is they can't get developers can't behind. Be they can't get developers be behind this thing because they've got this other version which does all the same stuff but well, also you, runs Windows and, and, apps. Yeah, but and now, and that's what I'm saying, and now with Haswell chips, the tablets that run 8.1, they're getting the battery life. Right. They're getting the mobility. Right. right? right. Like, so what is the point of this product? And I, without the other, the, the, honestly, the, one other thing, the other bet that they made about the size and shape of, I, I, I think they made a terrible bet on this 16.9 yeah. Aspect ratio yeah, we're as, talk about the as a tablet, and we should and we should segue into this. So let me. Talk ju- about let's it. we can just but close out a build real quick here. So the, yeah. the, oh the other two. And if I, by the build. way, by the way, I feel I feel with this conversation, uh, the people who who think that I'm a, an Apple hater uh, will now recede slightly. <laughs> no, and a wave, window, and a wave, wave of, of Windows of of people who think I'm a can, Windows can, Microsoft can I ask hater. A met, a metro qu- or, yeah. Do you think Xbox One getting the same apps is well, that so going to help? So that's, that's the other thing. So Windows 8 apps, uh, they show the Xbox One, and they're like, if you want to get a head start on developing for the Xbox One, start building Windows 8 apps. And the clear yeah. implication is that <clears throat> there'll be some yeah, cross like, oh, web app yeah, sure. kind of thing going on. And then the other piece of news was they said Windows Phone is in third place, and they hilariously began trash talking BlackBerry. Yeah. I don't well, know BlackBerry. But you know, it. that's you know, if when you think about where Windows. I just like mobile the was yeah, for yeah. many years mm-hmm. to now be in third place is a significant yeah. improvement. I just think it's funny that they're trash talking BlackBerry. Like, cool. <laughs> that sucks for both of you. Yeah. Uh, well, I mean, what no, are you so the, do? the Windows Eight stuff on Xbox, but like, but do you think that's going to help them? No. I mean, I mean, yes, but no. I mean, well, like, but I mean, yes, the question no. is, what are the what are the apps? <laughs> right. I mean, like, were you going to put tablet apps on the TV? Like, it's going to be a lot of like. Video players. Well, that's what I right. assume is like a lot of video apps. Like yeah. Verge, Verge, maybe will do something. You, you know? should. Who knows? Vimeo yeah. and yeah, right. Vimeo and, right. and 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 what kind of apps are best Any for that environment? Well, I mean, I think you can do games. You can't yeah. do games. No, you should be able to do. But games. But they're not. But they're not the arcade. There won't be Xbox Live arcade. No, they'd be like JavaScript, like HTML. Right. 5 they'd games. be like a like but a. You, you can make a pretty good HTML5 game now. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, you I, can make it. But can you make a better Xbox Live arcade game? Yeah. So if Microsoft lets you. <laughs> no, but they don't let you. That's, exactly. the, pro- that's well, so part Microsoft, of the problem. So the thing with Microsoft has been they haven't really talked about the indie games yeah. on the one. Yeah. And this is like, I think, kind of like part of the story for them. I think, I bet I think. they want, I, this, I think they I are. I think there's a huge opportunity I think there. they're setting the stage for the thing that we've always wanted, which is why aren't there Xbox games on these other but platforms? But Sony's doing indie stuff, right? They're yeah. going to allow no, yeah, you to develop. Like and they're already chasing doing after it. Yeah, I mean. But I'm saying, I think I mean, this, Hotline Miami is available for the Vita, yeah, right? Right, but I'm saying, I think this, this is like the first step towards we have Xbox arcade games across our platforms, yeah. and they're telling developers like, start building Windows 8 apps, and they'll turn into Xbox apps. Yeah, and I'm confident that that's how that's their how play they get should to be. It should be where we want to open this up to indie developers. We yeah. want to give them the most. I just awesome, don't think they're ready yet. We want to give. I don't. Who cares if they're ready? They made their announcements. They yeah. should say it's coming, not now. But we want to give indie developers rev your engines we're going to give you a, the best yeah. platform with the biggest audience to develop to to yeah. publish and you're going to make a bunch of money they yeah. have the opportunity of the app store on yeah. on the big screen mm-hmm. in your living room uh for gaming and more i mean to me that's an opportunity yeah, if they're not I, taking it's crazy i think everybody this jacket well. is out of control vibrating all right so let's talk it's, about this helix okay i so mean can we, just briefly, helix. we just briefly talk about it because it's just a, a little bit of a downer to spend too much time is on. it running windows 8 the helix well, we is, gave it a we gave it a not good review the helix David is running it, windows 8 he gave it a it, three for design it is a hybrid it has it a, intel a it's a hybrid it has a flap here for the fans <laughs> 
Seriously. Well, so when you put when you put the tablet in the dock, the processor clocks higher. Yeah, so, so it's got a, little, got a little. So fan this is like just a here. huge fail. And David, and I talked about this on get, Top Shelf. I just yeah, wanted to talk about the, the podcast because I really great. just wanted Josh to see it and tell me, tell it's, me what he thought. It's about not good. It. I, here's the best, the worst part, the best worst part. You push, you push this in. Where what? You push. Oh, I push that in. Of course yeah. I do. This is <laughs> which makes no sense. This is the, and then this is all. This is all terrible. I'm sorry. I just want you to know. I know maybe you're in a factory. You're on a, a production line, and you got to yeah. do some B to B. You have Dear some. Josh. You have some B to B app that you're using <laughs> to like your show where you're. Oh it's look, so here's all crazy. my fi all my uh, shipments are going out on time or whatever. And, that's, and you need or, 16 uh, you're not reading. That's terrible. You're not reading a book like this. I mean, maybe you are, but it's horrible. Okay, this is yeah. bigger than a. It's bigger and heavier what, what, than a magazine. What kind of yeah. what kind of it's you're a, reading Jack Reacher on it's there? It's a weird it's a weird shape for a magazine. It's too narrow. Yeah, sixteen it's by nine. Too it's too tall and too narrow. This way is is terrible for tablet you applications. You know that I actually I bought a Nook HD Plus, which is a terrible purchasing decision. Yeah. Just because I wanted a four three Android tablet. Yeah, I mean that's weird, but, but that's that's where I landed. But I will say that this. The only one he no, I feel the same way about Samsung's the uh, uh, the Nexus Ten. Yeah. Is the same thing, although it is much more compact than this. The Nexus Ten. Uh, feels this is really what is it, the thirteen inch display? Uh, or eleven. Eleven, something like that. Twelve. But if you could make a computer and it just had a little screen right here for like text, and you just type. Yeah, I mean, look, I mean everything I, about I, the Helix to me is it's this is is this Haswell. This yeah. is so ridiculous. No, no, it's not Haswell. Absolutely not. No. What decade? <laughs> what yeah, decade sorry. is this? Are yeah, we yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. Are the twenty ten? I just, I just I, this is like this is just like to me is a fundamental like. Why there is Who one? Is I think there's one Asus that. So David Asus, gave sorry. it. A, oh, also it costs uh, seventeen hundred dollars. <laughs> Just like, oh, get, David's get, here. Get that away from me. Are there, oh my God, get those over here. Get them over here right now. No way. Come on, let's go right here. David Live has cupcakes. Give me, the, Live. give me the S4. Give me the S4. Thank you. Yeah, give me both of these. Take this you're a wonderful away from man. me. Oh, look at this. How weird. Yeah. How odd. All right. Tell hey the guys, guess what we just got uh, here, live for you. Cupcakes. It's the it's the. Uh, Developer, they sorry the, the play Google edition, play edition. Google Play editions, oh, man. right here. Got to be. I'm kind of right, I'm just kinda, right here. I bought the one, but now I think I want the. Well, I'll be honest with you. Both. I'm gonna be honest with you. Twelve hundred dollars on phones. <laughs> the, the I feel like you get one of those backs with the little wrap around. You got some of the sliminess is gone. Mm. Think about. But you'll it. know Grip it's there. Tape, your man. You're loving that button. No recent apps. I mean, just the the smile on Josh's App face fail. as he manipulates this button. That, it's just, it is nice. I will say. I will say. Uh, uh, you know, I got out. I got out the iPhone. Obviously, going to WWDC, I wanted to. You know, have it on hand. And um, you know, you realize you really miss that. You really miss that button. Uh, I, uh, I don't. I don't want wrong. any buttons on here. I just want that software multitasking button can I, all day can long. I, can I say something? Can I? Can you I? Can, say can I make you a want. confession? Yeah. I hate haptic feedback. And every you phone, why? every phone Especially that I have that's ever had it turned on makes it makes it makes everything feel slow because no, you do a thing like and the haptic kicks in like a millisecond later mm. and it's like uh, oh this didn't happen. It yet. feels like you're getting tased to me. It feels like <laughs> and, and Paul fact, and I have different feelings. And in about fact, haptic I feel feedback. like the, the S4's haptic this. feedback sometimes happens before your button presser. I feel like it's a way to trick you into thinking the phone's more responsive than it is. I'll be honest with you, it's uh, I think the absolute absolute opposite of everything that, that you one. ever say. I'll be honest with you. I want to I look at the screen on that one. Here, let me give the uh, the one. This is, we're like huge babies right now with yeah. new toys. <laughs> um, it does feel a little bit bigger, though. You know, it is a slight bit yeah, bigger, a very it. slight bit bigger. It's like one micron larger. I really, larger I really, in the, in I really want to hold this in my hand. Yeah. It's uh, slimy. There's no question about it's it. It's definitely, it feels gross. I mean, Samsung should be ashamed of how this phone feels in your hand. Yeah. Um, I don't think they are. <laughs> they're selling a bunch of them. Can I see the one? You know, oh God! I feel like I picked. You wrong. know the thing about Android that I discovered has that much better nice. has much better Latin learning apps and has much better uh, Starcraft build order apps. Yeah, it's Android? like for some reason like those those like low margin super weird obscure apps yeah. are maybe a little bit easier to you build. Give for me that Android. for a second. I honestly no. I just think no the, no no the uh, I I think the crossover of Starcraft nerds and Android users is probably pretty high. I'm just saying. Yeah, no, apparently much higher than the iPhone because yeah, the just, iPhone I'm just going to go ahead and posit that without any data, but mm -hmm. I, I feel very comfortable. No, like you can get like build orders on there and they're like telling you what to do. I just want to say something. On, I'll say this on Android. I think there's a noticeable difference between running uh, one of these live wallpapers and, yeah. and running a. I'll be honest with you, this screen does not feel as responsive to me as the one. Really? Wait, yeah. Let me see. 
I mean, maybe I'm crazy. Can you tell? I have that, a lot can of, you tell that I, I really have a lot my of hands missed, on that one? Like touches. Yeah, they benchmarked that. almost exactly the same. No, I know, I know, I know. But it's a different feel. No, I think there's something darker, to the. That's for sure. I think there's something to the response. Listen to us. There's a responsiveness of the actual touch. This is crazy. So which one are you gonna buy? Yeah, you've had you've had your time. <laughs> this is, yeah, I get two no, minutes. No. Yeah. I have to decide right you now. I want you to I want you to put your credit card information in here right now. I will say that at this one second because know. of that button, I feel like I picked wrong. Only yeah. because of the button. Really? Yeah. Uh, I, I'm actually feeling like buttons are for squares. Also, like you can't huh. you cannot hold that. Uh, well, how, so I don't how know how our comments issue, this? by the way, are like yeah. they're straight no, up here, like buttons here, here, give are me for the, give me these two phones. Give me these two phones. Let by the way, is this blowing your mind right now? Is this messing you <laughs> up, <laughs> Super? Give me. The, look, let me just illustrate my whole. <laughs> That's kind of trippy, right? You're tripping out over <laughs> yeah. this. Just give me, just give me the phones. What do you want? I need to show you something. I need to show you something. I need to show you something. We've lost. We've fully lost it. Just give me the phone. It's like Lord of the Flies here. You're gonna like the screen's gonna go. There's gonna be like a static burst. The screen's gonna go black. It's gonna come back. You're gonna be bludgeoning with a rock you'll be in the nude uh, i'll be like screaming in another language yeah <laughs> okay you want both yes yeah. all right okay here we go i want to hold this phone i want to hold this so you look at my thumbs yeah, yeah. they're whole they're yeah they're holding the phone right uh -huh. yeah with the I want to hold this phone. Oh, where do I put my hand over here? Because there's a touch, touch. When do you ever it's hold like your booby phone? Trapped. When do you ever hold your phone? If like I'm that? watching like Starcraft, how do you hold streams, your, how do you hold your how iPhone? How do you not hold this correct? Like I'm holding it. No, you, you just look. Did you see what you did? No. You're like I'm, I'm holding it. Well, not because <laughs> you moved your phone. Look, I'm holding it. This is stupid, slippery. guys. No, I'm gonna no, be honest you, with you. Look, you just. Took, uh, I'm just sorry. I got to. I got to tell you. I got to level with you. We've had a lot of dumb conversations on the on this. I'm telling you that thing is impossible hold and it's frictionless. It's. It's a <laughs> it's a booby trap. Hey, 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 quit quit breaking this. I'm, I gotta make a decision here. <laughs> so which one is it, Jeff? I don't know. Give me that. I don't know. I'm so familiar with this one. I've right. spent so many. We hours need to wrap this up because I have to go. By the yeah, way. we really do. Um, I think this is a great place to leave it. Yeah. <laughs> on a, the indecision. <laughs> this is a problem. I next, will say that this, next time this paralysis on the wrapped our staff. Oh, it's yeah, shorter. Sure. That's interesting. <laughs> <laughs> what is hmm. this? Yeah. They're the same. One no, has a button. No, no, and one look. feels icky. No, look. Look at the height difference there. Yeah, fascinating. See that? Yeah. Huh? So it's yeah, much slightly, slightly wider. Yeah. Yeah, much higher. Because <laughs> it smokes you're gonna the really both. dank weed. All right. And on that note. You're gonna, you're, it's both, right? Is it 420 yet? It's time. It actually is just, we just crossed oh, 420. Yeah. All Man. right, it's time to wrap up, guys. Unfortunately, I, we, I wish we could spend more time with you. I feel like we didn't even make it an hour. We didn't. Feels like we flew through that. Oh, look, Ross just brought yeah. in. A, I mean, I can explosive. go. You guys let's, can keep going. Let's stall for seven minutes so we make it a full hour. Yeah. Um, let's talk about our let's talk about our personal lives for a second. Let's talk oh, about God. things that are not gadgets for a okay. moment. Let's talk about non tech related. Mm -hmm. Have you seen any movies lately? Have you seen any new movies? I just saw Monsters University. Oh, is it good? It's pretty yeah. cute. Did you it's cry? Not, <laughs> did you or did you not cry? I, don't cry. I didn't cry, and it's, it's not pretty. it's not old school Pixar. Yeah. And I don't know when we'll ever get old school Pixar back, and I'm so sad about it. Based that. on the based on the phrase old school Pixar, I'm gonna say never. Yeah. Yeah, that's true. Right? Because old school is the back in the day. <clears throat> it's just new it's school. just the stakes aren't as high in Monsters University. You know what I mean? Like it's still a tight story, like all Pixar movies, but the it just doesn't matter as much. It's not changing your life. Well, maybe you've grown up. Maybe as those movies have grown, you've grown as a, as a man. Have you thought about that? I don't know. I was just watching the first Toy Story like on repeat. It's time for you to put away childish things. <laughs> um, all right. So you saw Monsters University. What about you? Anything new? I, I watched Showgirls last night. I saw a bit. We talked about this. Yeah. I saw a little bit of Magic Mike. Magic mm. Mike to me, it's on HBO all the time now. So I've seen very it. Very so erotic. We're in agreement. Highly Are you in agreement too that Channing Tatum's going to get an Oscar? No. Probably. I, 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 terrible. I, I mean, Brett Easton Ellis seemed to think that it was Oscar caliber. Oh, you, not for that movie. Not for that movie. Oh, just. No, uh, it's, it's I mean, can you get, a, a, can you get decade, an Oscar for handsomeness? Within a decade. No, no, no. Can so you get an Oscar for being like the ultimate meathead? Here's, what, here's <laughs> what people don't understand. No, you, you know, like the old thing of like like a girl who plays the dumb blonde, but like those those women that. Like Charlize Theron, and then she was in Monster. Yeah, no, the women Did that she ever played dumb blondes before that. Well, but she a was a bit. you know beautiful woman in but a lot of movies where she played like a romantic interest in that. But like, and like then a, she a plays Lucille like a scary. Ball. Anyways, yeah. the, like women, the actors who do those dumb characters are sometimes like extremely smart. It's like not that easy to be that sort of straight I man. I mean, I don't think and anybody's he, saying that he, he's dumb. He's, no, that's uh, he can play those part. I don't know. He's just ah, oh, he's so good. I feel that your he's interest so in Channing Tatum goes beyond. 
He's simply such a good an actor. admiration for he's his not acting. A good, what the, what he is the such hell a good, is he a good actor. About. I feel like he plays the same character. His character is like this in every movie. Like, bro, we going to do this or what? Like, that's yeah, that, what he that's, does. That's Mark Wahlberg. No, but it's the same guy. No, it's not. It's that guy. He's like, come on, bro, let's go. There's so much yeah. depth it's like, yo, bro, you want to dance nude? Like, that's what I saw at Magic Mike. She's like, bro, you're gonna. You see bro, you're gonna and you're do, like, I have to watch the rest like, of this movie. I'm like, you see 21 pause, Jump Street? Slow mo. She's very good. Not? 21 Jump Street is actually, I was just talking about this with somebody last night. It's actually a very funny movie and somewhat underrated, I think. I, I started thinking he could win an Oscar after that, and then I saw Magic Mike, and <laughs> yeah. I was like, this guy's got yeah, something. I'll be honest with you, he's gonna be in something. G.I. Joe Retaliation? Not Didn't so good. see that. Really? Mm. I mean, this, this list, his filmography is really like a list of movies I hated. Okay, so, so Neil, I, you, I do you see anything besides Showgirls? No, I only watch Showgirls. Mm. <laughs> so he's been tired. I watch, I watch, and then you're going to hear more about this on, on The Verge. By the way, there's a new episode of On The Verge coming just after this broadcast. Mm. With an amazing, and no, I don't know if it's amazing, but I, we had some amazing guests mm. this week. Mm. Yeah. Paul Feig, director of The Heat. Ooh. On, on, he was in this room. But it's totally different looking yeah. room. And 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 Lance Reddick, who plays Daniels in The Wire and yeah. Broyles on Fringe and is in White House Down. Yeah. Which stars Channing Tatum. <laughs> of course. Which that's not gonna be. So a good that's movie. like you're now two degrees from Channing Tatum, by the way. Oh. If nice. you want to get in touch with him oh, and tell him what a great actor he is. Anyhow, we have an, we have a cool like it's like a it's like a it's like the Hollywood blockbuster v- episode of yeah. On the Verge. Oh. But that's coming after this. But is this your origin story? This is where you find out where I came from. Yeah. Which is Pittsburgh. <laughs> from Plan- the from the Planet ooze, Pittsburgh. Planet Pittsburgh. From the right. ooze of Planet Pittsburgh. Right. Uh, I came here to defend America against yeah. terrorism. Mm-hmm. Fr- right. Zod. Right. Zod. Oh, did you see the Superman the, movie? No. Don't no spoilers. I haven't seen it. I haven't it. seen the Have new Superman. I haven't no. seen the new Star Trek. I haven't seen Great Gatsby. I don't know how I've been not seeing Superman. I don't think movies. Great Gatsby, I think you're gonna be okay with. I wanna see it. Did you still? read the book? Yeah. Yeah. Really oh, I haven't seen the new Star Wars. Uh, Star, Star, Star Wars, Star Trek either. <laughs> the Star Wars. The good. new Star no, Wars. Just, can we just nice. spend a day at the movies? We should spend a day at the movies. Yeah, that'd be fun. Um, all, right. Um, all right. Any other personal life stuff we besides movies? Music. Jesus, what's your take on Jesus? Oh, dude, uh, like it's amazing. Maybe one track, two. At you most. don't like it? No. no. I mean, like I'm like I'm the worst court of Kanye fan. Where I like, like I, I like his like poppy stuff. That's just so, not uh, like I don't know. I've been just, meaning to write a forum post about my complete. Just like uh, sense of like insane confusion about blood on the leaves, like it's yeah. such a jam, but it's yeah. got that sample in it. Well, it's a very dark. Well, I mean, I you and know that when I, what are like, they watching? They're watching something like Magic Mike gif in there. I don't know what's going on. Yeah, they're watching Magic Mike gifs. By the way, uh, <laughs> okay, I, uh, <laughs> okay, yeah. <laughs> this is just a taste of Magic Mike. What are those just a man, taste of Shannon Tatum. One of those men is winning Oscar in that movie. Decade. His like his vocal performance is very similar to, to Marty Moe's or COO's like voice. Who, who McConaughey? Yeah, well, McConaughey. Like this is one thing I want to say about him in, in in Magic Mike is he's doing. First off, he plays he's playing bon- bongos semi nude on stage, <laughs> yeah. which is obviously like a a wink to his his arrest for playing nude. Bongos, right? That was him. B- bongo drums, nude. Right. He got arrested for like being high and playing bongo drums yeah. in the nude. That's the least surprising thing I've ever. Okay, yeah, right. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You're like, if he did get arrested, <laughs> yeah. I would be surprised. Well, you can just say that for I that. But yeah. but but then he's also doing his all right, all right, all right. He's like yeah. doing it all uh, through the movie. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, he's just like making fun of himself. He's just Matthew. And he's an incredible. He's really uh, transformed into an no, incredible. So here's my talent. thing about Blood and Leaves. Yeah, Real quick, and I, I really do got to go. But yeah. Uh, yeah, Blood and Leaves. It ends. The last line of the previous song is "I be speaking swag Healy," and then it cuts into blood on the leaves. Yeah, which is like so inappropriate. And the but the sample is like really like a meaningful. No, right? the, the like, sample is it's like one it's of a the most serious, meaningful, songs meaningful, ever deep. Written. Like it's just like so and serious. But then, and but then that that horn sample kicks in. And it's like a club stomper. Yeah, it's, and it's like I cannot. He's all over the Figure place. out that song. I'm sorry. I think like, I've listened say, to it a thousand times. I think the because track my brain on that record comprehend, comprehend it. The track on that record, Bound to. Oh, you think that one? I mean, it is crazy, weird, and good. I haven't listened to that one as much. It is. It's, it, it's and, the last and lyrically, track. and lyrically, it is probably the most real. I feel like, and most most narrative for him, um, and 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 it is just like a crazy. He like there is no. Yeah, th- that's the one I like. That's my song. It's the one that's like it's like basically the entire song is just like, a sample. Like it doesn't yeah. even have a it's beat like, it's or like anything. From graduation. Yeah. It doesn't have a beat or anything, and then it busts into that crazy space soul yeah. bit. It's just that's so such crazy. A good yeah. it's so, so good. my favorite track yeah. is uh, it's well it's uh, hold my liquor and blood and leaves. Those are my two. Hold my liquor is not. It's not really my good. favorite. 
I mean, I just like I that. Do you love that body bear? I do. I think it's good. On site is pretty good, too. All right, we gotta I like go. the whole record. It's great. I like All right. You hate it? Better. I hate on site. No, you got to hear it with bass, though. If you're listening to it on your laptop speakers, that's no, a problem. Been... When that 4 4 kicks in, right. it's like, oh, yeah, here we, we go. Gotta, we should just have a dance. All right. Party anyhow, that's the Verge cast for this week. I hope you enjoyed our several minutes of stalling. Seven minutes in heaven. Yeah. Talking about Yeezus. Oh, by the way, if you haven't heard it, personal Yeezus, somebody did a Depeche Mode. It's Kanye mashup. It's not nearly there are parts. Good it is. Of, there are parts of it that are good. There are parts of it that are frankly off key. Yeah, I mean literally off key. Uh, that's the Vergecast for this week. If you want to get in touch with you, can, in touch with us. You can email us at vergecast at theverge.com. You can uh, find us on Twitter. The Verge is at Verge. I'm Joshua Topolsky. Neilai is reckless. Man. Paul is future Paul, who you can now tweet at, mm-hmm. and he'll Instagram. He's Instagramming the guys. He's all over. I've got Vine. He's, his, his ooze is dripping all over the internet. Mm-hmm. Again, that's a disgusting, yeah. weird thought to mm. leave you with anyhow yeah, uh, we'll be back next week on. with with uh with uh, more of the verge cast and stick around after this on the verge is coming up uh you'll be able to see uh, uh what i think is a fairly entertaining set of interviews oh it's not streaming it'll be on the site i guess is yeah. what i want they just told me it won't be streaming you don't have to sit here and wait for it it'll yeah. appear as a post on the website yep. on a website called the verge.com and we have top shelf coming too yeah top shelf Shh. is up live after this well like well you got entertainment options no, it's not live. No, no. <laughs> Stop no. lying to people. Sorry, John. it's not live. Nothing is live. Nobody tells me anything. <laughs> is is this Hold being on. streamed live right now? Are we on the air right now? Is this yeah. live? Okay. <laughs> Top Shelf is not being streamed either. Top Shelf is available to you right this second. It's Top Shelf is available. You, you can watch. You it can watch it right now. Next window, next to us. What year is it? <laughs> okay. So anyhow, long, long and short of it is you got entertainment options. Okay, we're giving you as much as we can give you, and maybe a little bit more. Yeah. And it's a free of charge. You do have to watch pre-roll, though. I apologize for that. Yeah. Uh, anyhow, that's our show. We'll be back next week. And as always, uh, I wish you and your family the very best in this uh, awful time. Rock and roll. Paul. Oh.